हेलो गाइस आदित्य वेलकम टू माय डेस्कटॉप दिस इज मी द टाइम इज ट्वेल्व नाइन राइट नाउ एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल एन ओएस थ्रू वीएमवेयर सो आई एम गोइंग ओपन माय वीएमवेयर वर्क स्टेशन प्रो इट इज वर्जन ट्वेल्व एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ कैन यू इंस्टॉल अ वर्चुअल मशीन एज यू कैन सी इज माई ओपनिंग एंड माई डिफॉल्ट वर्चुअल मशीन इज यू बन टू लैन so i'll show you how to install the windows operating system in a virtual operating system to be uh, accurate to be more exact so first i'll go to a new virtual machine and uh, it will it will ask me for the typical or the custom uh, and uh, after that uh, it will ask me for the disk image actually and uh, i'll go to the browse and go and search for the image i have with my important setups and my os images and uh, voila i can only one have uh, windows 7 ultimate with sp1 and the second is windows xp professional so let's uh, install uh, windows 7 ultimate okay and uh, it, it has detected that it's a windows 7 x64 detected and uh, it will ask for the product key actually i wish i don't have any product key right now okay then then let's go back to xp okay then install it Make sure you have the product key. Actually, it will ask the Windows always ask for the product key of its Windows operating system. Microsoft has the habit of asking it, so I think I don't have any habit of uh, giving it. <laughs> no, I have this uh, SP3, and uh, okay. Now this uh, key, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna paste it. Okay, and then full name. Let's see, um, user or the administrator, or let's see, my name is Aditya, and I'm entering my full name. Password is optional, and after that, uh, it will ask for the where you want the, the virtual machine name is to be there, and uh, the location is this. So, and maximum disk size is 40 GBs, and uh, let's go on and build it. And the memory is by default is 512 MB. So let's see how um, it's going to take time. Oh well, oh it's just asking the software updates. Okay, download and install. Now we download it for XP and so on. Oh, you can you can see the Windows setup here? It's just like uh, installing a new Windows XP, a new machine on a fresh machine with having no OS or whatsoever. So guys. Uh, and um, what we have seen so far we have uh, we have vmware workstation version 12 and uh, we are installing windows xp service pack 3 version on a virtual machine what is a virtual machine actually it's not a real machine by the way it uses your hard disk space for ram or primary memory allocation and secondary memory allocation both so for this purpose and uh, it will it would uh, some time ask you uh, for any software update like uh, you have seen here like this vmware tools what what these tools are used for it, it's only for transferring your data from your host machine your host machine is this my host machine is windows 10 actually and my virtual machine on which i am hosting my new machine it says oh well you can see the status set up is copying files right now oh very good we'll gonna go ahead transfer data from the host machine and uh, to the virtual machine any pc any machine any os whatsoever and vice versa vice versa means 
backwards either from host to virtual or from uh, virtual to host you can do that it's very easy you can just you have to drag and drop you have to drag and drop your data any file or folder or any anything anything okay. so while we are uh, discussing now the booting has started we are currently seeing a windows xp platform and after booting it will go to the first initial setup and it will start popping files it will start uh, installing it properly on the hard disk well hard disk is uh, 40 gb in my virtual machine actually in my virtual in my win xp virtual machine oh while well, i installing windows just like you've seen in um it says actually 39 minutes but actually in uh, uh, virtual machine you can increase the ram and you can you can increase your uh, hard disk space according to your needs and how much faster you need your windows or your uh, uh, virtual machine should be fast enough and how much do you need it and uh, we are saying that uh, my active presenter is click for options is currently uh, okay I'm, I'm I can pause and I can stop and I can discard and let's uh, move over and uh, let's see what happens oh it has been an installation of the devices right now so I'll pause for the moment I'll come back when it's done Okay, dosto, hum wapis a gaye hain aur hum dekh rahe hain and okay, oh, mujhe English mein aa raha, okay. <laughs> now, welcome friends. Now, my Windows XP has been installed and now it's booting for the first time. It asks me, please wait, we are waiting actually. Okay. So, how can we go about this? It will take me some time. Let's see. And do remember, its RAM is only 512 MB, so its RAM is is 512 MB megabytes. Oh, it will last. Oh, wow! No, so I will finally start it. Oh, you can see the Windows welcome music, startup music actually. With HDD is 40 GB. So we're gonna minimize it for now, and I can uh, put to the full screen here. So my whole desktop area would be full screen, and you'll see that I've switched over to full screen, and you can see here display settings. Okay, we'll change the display settings. Okay, very good. So the display setting, and uh, what are we here? I don't want to take a tour actually. Keep updated. Okay. Properties. We're gonna add some desktop icons first. Uh, customize desktop, minor computer, my net of places. And voila. We have a Windows XP operating system. Okay, and now we go to properties, we can use settings. Oh yeah. 960, 13.6, so wow, we can this, we can more, um, certainly we can do this, 1920 by 1080, this is finally HD, okay guys, we are experiencing a Windows XP in pure HD format, this is high definition, this is our high definition and if you still are still bamboozled by what is here we are going to hear this so we are going to be tour welcome so to windows, windows xp from microsoft the new version of windows that brings your pc to life experience the best experience windows xp okay we are going to accept it for now so here then thank you for watching and i'm going to first exit here and i will have to shut it down now so I can either shut down from here or I can access this area above this 
I can suspend, I can shut down the guest operating system. So I'll do the basics and turn it off. Wow. The voice is a little scrambled here. Windows is shutting down. And we have our Windows XP Service Pack Edition. Three edition, sorry. And, and now. HD hooray so thank you guys for watching my video for watching my video keep sharing liking and subscribe Thank you folks, thank you again.